Welcome to battle number three of week six of the FNF Victory Road Draft League. This battle is pitting Rio Grande Rapidash, which is coached by Emberhoof, versus Butcher Blissies, coached by Fingered Witch, who is as Noir on Pokemon Showdown. For this battle, the Mega Pokemon we'll be seeing today are Mega Aggron and Mega Altaria, respectively. And the Z Crystal Pokemon we have are Latios with any Z moves, Zero Aura with Attack Z moves, both possible. And on Butcher Blissies, Blissey with any Z move and Arcanine with attack Z moves, both possible as well. So we really have uh, any Z move from any Pokemon on the field this time around, plus both Megas. So this will be an explosive battle, surely. And just taking a look, we see Ditto breaking out once again. If Ditto could copy. Uh, Landorus, I think that would be a huge benefit to Fingered Witch. Landorus actually beats that team, aside from Cryogonal, pretty decently. And there's also Cryogonal coming for the first time, speaking of Cryogonal, which could take down Altaria and... Um, Wow, I forgot to say Lorantis. <laughs> had a had a brain fart for a moment there. So Cryogonal will be really interesting to look at. Blissey is here, standard attacking set we might see, or maybe going for a defensive set this time, although Butcher Blissey's is known for that attacking Blissey. Blissey wants blood. And then we have that common core of Mega Agron, Landorus, and Zero Aura, who make very good pivots to each other, especially Landorus and Zero Aura, U-turning and Volt Switching respectively, to be able to overwhelm the opponent. So this will be an interesting match and I'm excited to see where it goes. So without any further ado, here we go. We're listening to the Emotion track from Pokemon Black and White. This is one of my favorite tracks. Not really a big battle theme, but um, as Emberhoof put it earlier, he says he feels like he's fighting for his life this week, and so does Fingered Witch saying mood. Alright, and in comes Landorus and Arcanine. Landorus with the Intimidate, Arcanine also with the Intimidate. Arcanine being named Kiyotaka after uh, Kiyotaka of Dagarompa. I think I mention this every single time. <laughs> but if you haven't played Dagarompa, you should play it. It's a pretty good game. And in comes Ditto, Meet Deity, transforming into Landorus, further intimidating it and being immune to that earthquake. Landorus will probably have to switch out now. And a knockoff is going to hit Latios really hard, taking away those leftovers. Latias goes for the Roost. Another knockoff hitting pretty hard, 53%, so it's doing a little bit more than the Roost does. Latias goes for a Psychic, and knockoff takes down Lat... I, have, did I say Latias? I meant Latios. <laughs> I am sorry for that. So Latio, Latios goes down. Meet Deity, copying that Landorus. This is a pretty scary moment for Rio Grande Rapidash because the rest of his team pretty much can't really take a Landorus, aside from maybe Landorus. <laughs> okay, Cryogonal comes out. Landorus does have a, an attack drop. Okay, in comes Taka, taking that freeze-dry like a champ. And Landorus comes in. Taking a flamethrower, doing about 56% to Kiyotaka. Will Ditto come in again to steal that Landorus Thunder? Pivotal moment here. Indeed, Ditto comes out. Lowering Landorus' attack, taking a Stone Edge, does about 32%. Another Stone Edge will probably be enough to take down Meet Deity the Ditto. And indeed, that's what happened. Meet Deity the Ditto goes down. In comes Angel, Fla Angel Face the Blissey. 
Makalola is going to be the one to greet Angel Face, taking not that much damage from Ice Beam. And indeed, we see again the offensive Blissey. Muck does have a good, solid special defense stat, so it will be able to take any special attack that Blissey throws at it at ease. Blissey not going to use its attack stat of a pitiful 10. <laughs> so it opts to go for that special attack stat because it could actually do something with a 75 special attack. It's not very good special attack, but it's it's usable for sure, especially if you put some investment into it. So um, special attacking Blissey could definitely be uh, surprising to an opponent. Versus Chansey, who's a little more one-dimensional. And a knockoff is going to get rid of that life orb from Angel Face. But that could actually be kind of good for Angel Face because it doesn't take recoil damage from using its attacks and now it could just heal up a little bit. Ooh, and a Brick Break is going to do 45%. Not more than the Soft Boiled. So Blissey can kind of Soft Boiled saw a little bit if it wants to. Ice Beam going to do some damage. Oh, but Brick Break takes down Angel Face the Blissey. Right now the score is 5-4 in favor of Rio Grande Rapidash, although Muck and Landorus are both on pretty low HP. Muck will definitely be a pretty good Pokemon for the rest of this uh, matchup. Aside from Arcanine, it takes on the rest of them pretty easily. In comes Heaven's Ward, the Mega Altaria. The Altaria, rather. It will be Mega soon. Indeed it is. Using that Earthquake to take down Makalola. 4-4 four, four score. Cryogonal is the next one to come out. And Arcanine comes in, taking what, yep, I assume to be a freeze-dry. That is exactly what happens. Ooh, but it freezes Arcanine. Good thing, though. Arcanine, I believe if it uses a fire move, it will thaw the freeze. Maybe not all fire moves. Maybe not Flamethrower. Uh, let's see. It is thawed. Flamethrower is going to do some pretty big damage. 48% burning Cryogonal, so it's going to effectively get rid of that Leftovers. <coughs> Cryogonal special defense pretty good, but one more Flamethrower will probably be enough to take it down. Freeze dry hitting once again. And Flamethrower does take down Cryogonal. In comes Zero Aura. And Mega Altaria comes out, taking that fake out pretty easily. Plasma Fists are going to hit, doing a resisted 33%, and Earthquake's going to hit Zero Aura, bringing it down to 2%. Still hanging in there. A switch to Landorus. Oh, and that's exactly what happens. I was going to say, a switch to Landorus could be good. Roost is going to allow Altaria to recover some HP. Earthquake could hit Altaria pretty hard. It's not flying anymore because it is fairy, and it doesn't have levitate, it has pixelate. Stone Edge is going to hit, Body Slam also going to hit, dealing about the same for both of them. Critical Hit Stone Edge is going to deal some pretty massive damage, bringing it down to 9%, but Landorus goes down. And Agron is the one to come out next. Soon to be Mega Agron, most likely. Indeed, Mega Agron using that Iron Head to bring down Kiyotaka a bit. And an Overheat's going to take down Agron in one shot. Zero Aura is the last Pokemon standing. Five 
Fake Out is going to take down Zara Aura. And that is a 4-0 victory for Butcher Blissies over Rio Grande Rapidash. Really good match. Uh, I think that ditto uh, imposter transformation into Landorus really was the right choice in this matchup. Um, I think that because Rio Grande Rapidash probably noticed that um, there was no ground types on the team for Butcher Blissies, that having a team that is weak to ground, uh, like with Agron, Zerora, and Muck, wasn't going to be that big an issue. But because Ditto was able to copy uh, Landorus, that allowed a ground type to be on the team on top of Mega Altaria's Earthquake. So really good strategy there. And definitely an explosive match. Really, really cool match. Jirashi and Lorantis actually didn't get to come out, but um, I was curious to see what their sets were. Cryogonal came for the first time, which was cool to see. And overall, a good battle between both sides. So good game and join us for more week six battles later. Until then.